Hi, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in World Fusion music. Today, my guest is Yulia Musayan, who is a flute player and composer. She was born in Russia, but moved to the U.S. when she was 11 years old. And um, that place uh, is a teacher at the Berkeley School of Music in Boston and works with a lot of groups in the Boston area. Welcome, Yulia Musayan, to the World Fusion Show. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. So glad you could join us by Skype today. It's really great to have you. Thanks. It's wonderful. So you are, your name, Musayan, is Armenian, but you were born in That's Russia. Right. So, but you're also very influenced by Armenian music and other music. But what was it like growing up in Russia? Um, well, I, I started, you know, learning music at a very early age. I started when I was four, and then I went to a music, um, I guess it's like a special music high school. So it's just always been a part of my life. Um, but it was, you know, it was always I started kind of classical, yeah, classical music. So and then little by little, I started. I think when I or when I moved here, I started discovering the different, the other types of music, yeah, um, that are out there. You know, just kind of whole new worlds opening up to me. Absolutely. So you went to a special school. Um, how old were you when you went to that school and started there? Um, I started when I was six. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So um, uh, that's a little, but do, is that usual? Is that normal in Russia if you're, if you have talent? I mean, it's a, it, you know, it's a specialized school. So, um, they, you know, they like to get you started young. If yeah. that's really what you, you're, you know, going to be a professional musician, you sure. basically go to a professional music school from the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was really a blessing. I was very lucky to, to have that experience. That's great. You said your mom played the piano. Did you have a musical household? Um, so my mom played the piano and she was always very supportive and my aunt as well. Um, you know, but none of my other family members are musicians. Yeah. So I, um, in that way, I actually grew up kind of listening to what my parents listened to, which is a lot of um, Russian singer songwriter music, mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, you know, 70s European pop. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, just kind of like a bunch of other things. So it was nice to know that there's different music out there. It's great that you got exposed to all that. Absolutely. It was from fun. a young age. So you and you now are working in many different styles. You're inspired and influenced by many styles of music. Give me a description of some of the styles that you work with. Oh, um, it's so hard to put, you know, a label on the type of music I do because in the end it's all music. But yes. um, I really, I really, uh, got very heavily involved in um, the all the different South American rhythms. And um, I, I very heavily invo um, influenced by Argentinian folklore yeah. um, and uh, Brazilian music, which features a flute a lot. So it's, right. it's like a very easy way to kind of just, you know, discover that. And I play a lot of uh, Venezuelan folk music. That yeah. was, I think, my entry point mm. to uh, South American folklore. And uh, but. Probably about 10 years ago, a little more, I started um, digging a little bit deeper into my Armenian heritage and uh, listening to a lot of Duduk and Shvi and all the Armenian, um, you know, native, native instruments. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess among other influences, this is uh, the gist of it. That sounds great. Now, I love the Duduk, but I think our audience may not be familiar with what it is. Can you describe it, please? Sure. Um, it's... Uh, it's a folk flute made out of uh, apricot wood, mm. so it has a very, uh, very warm sound. And um, what makes it very difficult for me as a flutist is that it's actually a double reed instrument, and it has a giant double reed, um, you know, like bigger than any other <laughs> instrument I've ever seen. So it's very hard to make that vibrate. Right. But uh, it sounds like the human voice. It really, um, really touches me. Yes, I would highly recommend that our our audience go on YouTube and check out Duduk, D-U-D-U-K, and check out some players. There's some wonderful YouTubes up there with that instrument. So we're gonna go to your first video, which is a, um, with your own group, you work with many groups. Um, this is your own quartet, and you're playing 
an arrangement of a Ukrainian traditional song. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, the song is called Na Vulitse Surma Hraje, and um, it translates to roughly on the street a trumpet is playing. Um, and and um, more more than arrangement, it's actually kind of a derangement because <laughs> I, I kept I kept you know the beginning theme of the melody, and then I changed everything else. Right. I right. changed some of the meters. I put some different harmonies. Um, yep. You know, and we're we're taking solos over it. So um, it's it's based on it. Well, but, you know, we tried to kind of stay true to the spirit of it. I understand. Let's go to the video right now. Thank you. That is fantastic, really. You have such Thank a beautiful so sound. Um, very nice, and the group is great. Um, you teach at Berkeley, and you also work with a lot of groups in the Boston area. One of those groups is a trio, Makayu Trio. Um, you want to talk about that or other groups you work with? Sure. Um, yeah, I'd love to mention uh, the Makaju Trio. It's um, it's a very it's a project that's very dear to my heart because it's a true collaboration. Mm. Um, you know, we're we're three musicians. Actually, the pianist that was in the last clip who plays in my quartet, um, Maxim Dubarsky, is in it, and um, he's fantastic. And uh, a cellist named Catherine Bent, who is absolutely amazing, and um, you know, a composer as well. So we play, um, you know, uh, kind of I guess a fusion of all the styles that we, the three of us, bring to the group, and we play original compositions yeah. um, by all members of the group. So it's a very, it's a very dear project to me. And we actually recorded um, last, a few months ago, um, a record. It's going to be out uh, very soon. Good. So we're we're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So we'll be sure to post that. Um, Thanks. Online. It right? actually features a couple of, um, a, or one piece with Duduk. Oh yes. So, Excellent. Yeah, so we'll get to hear fun. the famous to Duke. That's good. Yep. Um, now, um, you, um, in the next video we're going to see, you are singing as well as playing the flute. And this is a project of yours that was called um, Tango Meets Jazz. Do you want to say something about this next piece? Uh, sure. Uh, so this is not an original. Um, this is a version our version, duo version of um, a tango song, a traditional 
tango, uh, it's called Tango Cancion, uh, called Como Dos Extraños, uh, which means like two strangers. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, this, you know, I'm, I'm starting to dabble in singing. And um, once you really start to understand the lyrics of the, the, the tango songs, it, they're really pretty brutally heartbreaking. Are they? So it's, it's a, yeah, it's um, it's sometimes a little hard to sing them because it's like, wow, okay, now I have to, you know, I have to now I have to improvise and you know try right. to not cry right. uh, while I'm doing that. But um, yeah. yeah, so this this is just a version of it, and I, I play some flute and I try to bring that um, the sense of kind of heaviness into a song that otherwise sounds pretty, you know, major and happy unless you understand the lyrics and it's, it's so um, who is the wonderful bass player you're working with here uh his name is fernando Huergo. he's an unbelievable bass player i'm very blessed to to um play with him and actually in all my projects and and also play with him in other groups so it's um yeah he really provides the the rest of the accompaniment because it's such a um you know it's a duo version so right. it's really up to him to kind of lay down the whole you know what the orchestra would be doing and, and he, he doesn't and- Amazing job with that. He sure does, uh, quite masterfully, I would say. Let's go to watch the second video now. Very nice. Thank and you so much. Your singing, your singing is quite wonderful. So please keep singing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep trying. Okay. Keep, keep working on it. So, you, Yulia, what is your philosophy of music? Why do you do what you do? Oh, um, I, I think it's 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 my way to kind of uh, communicate with the world. You know, like I say, it's um. Um, you know, when when I when I started singing, I actually kind of realized why it is that I, that I'm actually an instrumentalist because it's such a universal language and it allows you to express um, some I guess some feelings and reflect on some things that you, that you can't put into words. So I think you know that's it's my way of just communicating with with the world. It's great. So um, I'd love to go to our third video, and this is one of your compositions. Again, we'll be hearing it with you playing with your quartet. Um, and um, it's, uh, want to introduce this to us, uh, what the song is and what it's about. 
Sure. Um, this is a, an original composition of mine uh, called Chacarera del Descenso. So Chacarera is um, a style, a rhythmic style in 6-8 from um, the north of Argentina and uh, Bolivia. Um, and um, it's, you know, it's, it's a dance and there's a lot of... Uh, kind of funny songs that are in it, um, and it just really speaks to me. Um, Del Descenso actually refers to um, a soccer team going down a division, so that just happened <laughs> to be my my inspiration at that moment. But Because, um, you know, it's the, the day that I composed the tune was uh, that's good. It was kind that's of a good. big day. That's but, great. Uh, yeah. That sounds great. Let's give a listen to this right now. So nice. You have such a great sound. I love Thank I you. love your playing. Um, so we're coming near the end of the show. I wanted to just ask you if you have, if you have anything else you'd like to share with our audience. Sure. Um, I actually, if you don't mind, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the my quartet and um, you know the the piece that we just heard because Please. it's um, you know it's based on. Chacarero, which is traditional style, and it's played a lot on, um, you know, the the guitar and uh, bombo, which is, you know, like kind of a big bass drum yeah. instrument, um, and some sometimes violin, um, sometimes um, the cana, which is like a, you know, one of the Andean flutes. Mm -hmm. um, so in this case, it's we're trying to kind of recreate the sound with, you know, flute, regular flute grand piano, electric bass, um, and the the um, drummer is actually playing a floor tom, yep. but he's playing the rim, and he he put like a, um, a you know, parch on it. So it, he makes it, you know, he makes it sound like a um, traditional bombo. I think it's very special. Yeah. Um, and it's that's Mark Walker on the drums, who's fantastic, and Fernando Huergo on bass, and Maxim Lubarsky on piano. They just like, they make, they make it work. Yeah, <laughs> it's really great. Well, Yulia, I, Yulia Musayan, I just want to really thank you so much for coming on the World Fusion Show today. It's really thank you great. so much for having me. It's been great to have yeah. you. And actually, yeah. now we're going to go to the part of the show where we play together via the magic of the internet. It's really exciting. Let's do it. I'm really looking forward to that. So thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thanks for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. We've got lots more great shows coming. Please go to our Facebook page and like us. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. And, you know, hey, remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.